Hey guys, I'm Haley Catlin and this is The Scoop. We announced a few weeks ago that Orange is the New Black star, Jackie Cruz, would be coming to Auburn's campus. We are excited to say that the date is finally here. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, Cruz will speak in the Foy Auditorium this Thursday evening at 6. This event is free to all Auburn students. UPC is teaming up with the Alabama Prison Arts and Education Project to present the documentary series This Week's Movie Pick, Up the Ridge, offers an in-depth look at the United States prison industry. The movie will be shown this Wednesday evening at 5.30 in Langdon Hall. This event is free and open to all students with a va valid Tiger card. University Programs Council is back with Painting on the Plains. Each year, this popular event takes students to the highest point in Auburn. The Haley Center Eagle's Nest, UPC, says from this view, students can choose from a variety of Auburn landmarks to paint like Jordan Hare Stadium or Toomer's Corner. To sign up, visit UPC's AU Involved page. Painting begins this Wednesday evening at 5. With fall almost upon us, Auburn Parks and Rec is kicking off their Sundown Concert Series this Thursday at 6. The concert series, hosted in Kaiser Park, will last until the end of October. The concerts are free and pet friendly. After an amazing win Saturday against Arkansas State, the Auburn Tigers are looking to keep the ball rolling, but SGA is looking further down the road. There's no greater feeling in the world than cheering on your Auburn Tigers. Thousands of Auburn fans line up at the gates in Jordan-Hare on Saturdays to cheer on their Auburn Tigers. But when it comes to away games, many fans were left in the cold. Now you can go wherever the Tigers play with the Bada Get a Bus. The initiative passed by SGA allows Auburn students to pay to board a charter bus to away games. The ticket covers a ride to and from the game, a spot in the student section, and a complimentary meal. A lot of it has to deal with transportation, like the reason I wouldn't go to an away game is because like right now I don't have a car so I feel like it's easier if Auburn provided transportation to go to the game. Bus tickets are selling fast as the bus is scheduled to take its first trip on October 8th to Starkville to take on the Mississippi State Bulldogs. In Auburn, Jonathan Thomas, Eagle Eye TV. A seat on the Mississippi State Bought to Get a Bus will run you $85. For more entertainment news, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Eagle Eye TV. Up next, stay tuned to hear from the Weekly Sweep panel. You're watching Eagle Eye TV, Channel 6. Welcome to the Weekly Sweep. I'm Charlsey, and on panel we have Jayla, William, and Kennedy. So let's jump right into our topics. Jayla, what do you have for us today? Okay, so like the biggest buzz the past two weeks have been the new Netflix show, Stranger Things. Uh -huh. And I am so obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. Like, from the acting to the storyline, like everything about Stranger Things is amazing. And the, it's only eight episodes, and Netflix is a genius for putting this show out. It's mostly kind of at the beginning of the school year, so I won't get distracted <laughs> later on. But it's a lot of 80s references, and I love the 80s. Yeah, There's so many different 80s yeah. references to the movies, to the just the life back then. And there are also references to um, E.T. and Stephen love King. It. Like, the writers of the show put everything and just stuffed it into this show, and it's incredible. And I'm my favorite part are the four child actors in the show. Yeah, they're all so under one. The oldest one just turned, I think, fourteen. Yeah, he did. And they are incredible. Like, I can't believe what I was doing at eleven years old. And they're just <laughs> giving the performances of their lives, and everyone's obsessed with it. I watched a video today how. Ashley Benson, Zac Efron, Hilary Duff, all these are celebrities are obsessed with the show. So I'm not alone. Everyone <laughs> needs to go watch Stranger Things right now. It's only eight episodes, and I swear you will not, like, be disappointed. Yeah. That's so great. Did you hear about how the female actor, the lead, um, what is her name? Millie Bobby Brown. Okay. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> there we go. Did you hear how that was her first kiss? 
at age 14. Oh my she's 14, God. right? No, she's, she's 11. She oh, she wow. She just turned 12, I think. Okay, it was her first kiss, and her response to it was, eh, I didn't really like it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, is that right? How would, you, how would you feel if you're the guy? I know. Oh, you, the fuck <laughs> like guy. Oh, okay. But I know she was really nervous about shaving her head. Because, oh, I mean, a little girl between. having to shave her head. <laughs> so they were like, think of Charlie Theron um, in Mad Max. There and that gave her the confidence to shave her head. And Mom. she looks great. She's an adorable, incredible little actress. And... Yeah. Y'all, Stranger Things is amazing. Oh my <laughs> so god, good. I can't, I can't wait about for it. the next season. Like, yes, and I hate season that. Season two. Yeah. Did you have a season two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of new seasons of our favorite television shows, William, what have you got for us? All right, so American Horror Story season six premieres tomorrow oh. night, and so I was doing a little bit of research into this because, like, you know, the big controversy around this has been, you know, what's the theme of the season? So I watched like all twenty six, I think, teasers, and they, <laughs> put out, and they had this big like compilation on YouTube, so it was easy. I didn't have to go like searching for them, but um. You know, and so they've got these 26 teasers that are all supposed to showcase like different scary things that could be the theme of the season. And I really couldn't piece anything together. I was like, all right, these, I mean, it's, you know, you have one scary thing. It's like, here's aliens, here's, you know, <laughs> right. crazy farm cannibals, here's wow. spiders. Um, and so I, I didn't really think anything of it, but uh, I read today. Now, somebody pieced this together that, um, the one thing that all of these have in common is that throughout them there's like the spider motif going and yeah. there, uh, the word pig shows up. And so like you wouldn't think too much of this, but um, apparently Charles Manson, the serial killer from the 1960s, those were his two big things. Okay. Now, what gets, where it gets really interesting is that the creator of the series, Ryan Murphy, has stated before that he wanted to do a Charles Manson themed season. Oh. So... That's the big takeaway from this. And Evan Peters is back this season. He's got a big, like... Yes. <laughs> She's dying. Yes. He's, well, he's got a big, like, Charles Manson look to him now, which, whether or uh, not it's a coincidence, no. I mean, it's <laughs> all the signs are pointing towards Charles Manson-themed American Horror Story. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's a little... I might actually have to watch this Yeah, season. I want to watch it now. Last yeah. season, I was like, mm, I had to stop in the first episode. I got really freaked out, it but... Weird. It was... Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. But um, is Lady Gaga going to be back? I'm not sure. I know that a bunch of Glee stars are going to be in this. Yes. Jacob Artis. I saw him. He, he never posted on Instagram. And he posted, can't wait to start. And I was like, oh. Yes. I saw that today. Yeah, I'm excited for him to be in there. So, too. wow. So it's Glee. It's reinvented. Yeah, Glee. Glee. <laughs> and American Horror Story is actually made by the same people. Yeah. 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 So I'm like not too surprised. Well, sort of surprised like intrinsically because you got like Glee and then American Horror Story. All I can think right, right, right now is like properties. singing about cannibalism, which is oh, like so weird. I'd be down to watch like a crossover episode. That'd be <laughs> neat. It might happen. Well, speaking of singing, <laughs> we'll move on to Kennedy. Yeah. Good topic. Singing, The Voice. So the new season of The Voice will be airing next Monday, September 19th. And I'm very excited for that because I love talent shows. Like, I grew up watching them, American Idol, you know, yeah, X Factor. Yeah. That was my stuff. So <laughs> yeah. I'm really excited, though, because I just like the concept of The Voice, you know, how it's a blind audition. They don't judge each other. And, you know, the most constant judges that they've had is Adam Levine and Blake Shelton. But for this season, they're going to have Alicia Keys and Miley yeah. Cyrus, which I'm excited for. Yes. Because um, <laughs> You know, Molly Cyrus is crazy. And I love her. Yeah, yeah, I love her too. Like, some people are like, ooh, Molly Cyrus, but I like her. But apparently, she's already um, getting into arguments with Adam Levine. They're apparently, oh, they annoy each other. So, that's going to be interesting. But I'm most excited for Alicia Keys because I grew up listening to her. I love RB music. And she's so deep. Like, yeah, she's amazing. And beautiful. <laughs> yes, she's and so she's pretty. so amazing. So, like, I hope with this, like, she's going to get some really good R&B singers, you know, who want her to be their coach. Mm -hmm. And maybe Molly Cyrus will get another Molly Cyrus 2.0. Maybe a best of both worlds. Well, so. I she's, like, she's got a country <laughs> singer. Okay, go back to her roots a little bit. Yeah. That well, would be cute. I know that um, on Snapchat they have, like, the little voice thing. And a guy from my high school was on the uh, voice Snapchat, and Ooh. it came down between him and another girl oh. to have the opportunity to be on the show. Sadly, they chose the other girl, oh, wow. but he was like, I got my opportunity to show myself, and Adam Levine said he was amazing, and I would love to have him on the show. And everyone else saw him, too, So, and then he was broadcast on Snapchat, which is like a... Yeah, that's pretty yeah, that's that's big deal. So I'm just like, if I could sing for two seconds... It'll be great. I yeah. feel you. Well, speaking of some of our favorite singers, Taylor Swift and Katy Perry are in a never-ending feud. I swear. How long has this been going on now? Forever. Yes, forever. Mm -hmm. For so many years. And it all started with the whole debacle about the backup dancers. And you'd think they'd get over it at this point, but apparently not, because Katy Perry was prompted by a fan on Twitter 
asking her, would you ever collaborate with Taylor Swift? And her response was so sarcastic. She said, well, maybe if she apologizes. And it's like, really? Are you still bitter about that? <laughs> like, so much has Just, happened, and you backup dancers. Yeah, exactly. They're adults, like, you know. <laughs> yeah. They're adults, like, okay, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it, but, you know, I'll, still I'll power buy to you. both of their music. So. Yeah, it's Amy catchy. All right, well, that's all we have for today's Weekly Sweeps. For the latest in entertainment news, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Eagle Eye TV or click on the entertainment tab of eagleeyetv.com. Have a great day and War Eagle. War, War Eagle. Eagle.